Good day! This is Teacher Rowan. I'll be your guide in exploring Google Apps for Education, for teaching and learning. In Google for Education, teachers can connect and collaborate easily while staying on task. It gives teachers the freedom to spend more time personalizing the learning experience and less time managing it. Students can learn essential skills such as 21st century problem solving, which they can use it in their future careers. As such, the accessibility features will also help and assist every learner to do their best work. Google offers different useful applications that we can use to connect education to technology. This will help our teachers as a 21st century educators to innovate and find ways on how to make teaching and learning more exciting, engaging, effective, and flexible to the demands of the society. Let's re-explore the education experience by discovering new angles to create collaborate and communicate as one. Para sa bata, para sa bayan, at para sa guro. Ang pagkatuto, huwag gawin komplikado. Sulong edukalidad. Magandang araw mga kaitulay. Ako ang yung Tutor Mad. Handa na ba kayo sa kapanapanabig at kabang-abang na itulay summer camp? Tara na! At upisan na natin. Mga guro at magulang, ating pagtulungan, kabataan ay turuan natin. Kahit na nasa tahanan, pag-aaral ay tutukan, oras at kasanayan ay ilaan. Sulong edukalidad, magbago man ang panahon, ipagpatuloy ating layunin, patatagin ang edukasyon. Itulay ang gabay sa pagkatuto, itulay edukasyon itatawid sa'yo, itulay paaralan nilalayo sa'yo. Itulay sa makabagong panahon Itulay para sa kabataang Pilipino Kayo ba'y may katanungan At hindi maunawaan Kami ang gabay at tulay na magtuturo sa'yo Sa tulong ng teknolohiya At maging ng social media Diyan paaralan ay kusang lalapit sa'yo Tulong edukalidad Supuin maling impormasyon Katotohanan nating ituro Pauna rin ang edukasyon Itulay ang gabay sa pagkatuto Itulay edukasyon Itatawid sa'yo Itulay paaralan Lalayo sa'yo Itulay sa makabagong panahon Itulay para sa kabataang Pilipino Itulay ang gabay sa pagkatuto Itulay edukasyon itatawid sa'yo Itulay paaralan di lalayo sa'yo Itulay sa makabagong panahon Itulay para sa kabataang Pilipino Itulay, itulay sa kabataang Pilipino Itulay, itulay sa kabataang Pilipino Itulay, itulay sa kabataang Pilipino There you go. Good morning, Tutor Nova. Hi, oh, Tutor May. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> this Hello. is very exciting. It's our first week together for the ESL Public Speaking. That is right, and I'm really excited for our pilot episode. And um, there are so there are so many things that we have prepared for our campers for today. No, Teacher Nova. 
Indeed, Mame. And I think we've been waiting for this to happen because this is our very first session and we have prepared jam-packed activities all the way until the last session of our Itulai Public Speaking Summer Camp. Okay, you are correct in that. But first of all, before we begin and introduce our program to our happy campers for today, let us first greet them because they have really waited for us, okay? So <laughs> let's right. check the comment section and greet some of our campers campers one by one. Hello, Akisha Ariola, Joshua Pashon of Cagayan Region 2. My gosh, Teacher Nova, we are reaching so many places. Um, That's aside right. from Joshua, we have Rigel, Jersey Genesis Fernandez Handig, which is a very active duty starting from um, Itulay. Um, we also right. have Sofia Obispo, Rona, Althea, Eliseo, what else, Teacher Nova? Well, of course, Mame, um, we also not forget to mention, we also have Althea May Averilia, Mam Rosaline. Mm -hmm. She is also our co-teacher broadcaster. And hi also wow. to Sir Joel Torricampo. Our co-teacher broadcasters are here with us this morning, joining us today. It's fantastic. Wow, and Sir Joel Torricampo is from Zamboanga, Cebu. Si Bugay, right. and he is yeah, watching with right. us. Wow, ang, ta, ang, ang, ang layo, no? Teacher Nova, okay? And we are Hello, also reaching hi. an island, mm -hmm. Mame. We are um, live all the from? way to Bantayan Island. Hi wow, to Marceline. <laughs> Hello po, ma'am. Okay. Summer, we are feeling the summer heat because we are live all the way until Bantayan Island, Cebu. Yes, and not just the summer heat, um, Teacher Nova. We are also feeling the warmth of our campers for our pilot episode. And I hope that warmth will continue up to the last episode of our summer camp. Hey, exciting. <laughs> so we will now begin with the, um, with the things that they have to know about summer camp. The first question that we will post is... Why Italy summer camp? Like that yes. kid here or the teenager mm -hmm. beside. He's also thinking, yeah. why? Why Italy summer camp? Okay, now why Italy summer camp? Why do you think, teacher, uh, Tutor Nova, are we having this summer camp? We are actually having this Italy summer camp because we still wanted to continue learning even until the summer. And plus factor, Mam May, is that this is definitely for free. That is right. And we know that it's the end of um, the school year 2020-2021, but we do not want our learners to have a learning slide. Mm, what is this right. learning slide? This is the time in which the learners will not be learning and that will be a very sad phase. The, their summer will not, their summer, <laughs> that's actually the break, the academic mm -hmm, break, their summer mm -hmm. will not be very productive. So we are in, uh, having this program to maintain that progress so that our mm -hmm. learners will have something to do, will have something to learn, even though they are still in the confinement of their home. Indeed, Mame. And we're also opening this Itulai Summer Camp Public Speaking open to all ages. Even professionals are watching with us today. That is right. So aside from our students today, if you have friends, cousins, titos and titas and neighbors who would like to really up their game in speaking and um, and for them to be confident to speak publicly, why not share it to them? OK, that's right. And I think it's definitely a life skill that you have that confidence to communicate with other people. Because teaching um, English as a second language, Ma May, I've been teaching mm -hmm. Japanese students, Korean students. Wow. And um, it's definitely such a step up in their career when they know how to really communicate themselves. So um, this is such a great factor because we are having this public speaking tutorial for free and for everyone as well. That is right, because expression is really different from communication. Com communication right. is really making sure that what we say, what we want to express, are being sent through effectively to our listeners. Now, to our second question, Tutor Nova, what should I learn from Itulay Summer Camp? So this is a question that we will be answering for the sake of our learners. That's right. So we are going to give them the timeline and at the same time, 
what are the things that they will be looking forward to for the whole um, summer season for this Itulai summer camp? Erin Miranda on the comment section actually um, applauded us and she said, I love how you speak Po. And our goal at the end of our program mm -hmm. is for you to speak like us. Diba? That's confident, right. Bingo, fluid. bingo, mami. <laughs> <laughs> that is right. Um, confident, fluid, and definitely Tutor Nova in speaking. We can't really avoid grammar um, mistakes, right? That's right. Because well, speaking, mm, that's mm -hmm. true. Go on, teacher. Uh, that's that's true, mami. Um, nobody is perfect, but I think um, with them um, attending this, um, Itulai Summer Camp Public Speaking. Uh, nobody is perfect, but their grammar mm -hmm. is something we can perfect. So I Very think they nice. have to really stick with us here. I agree with you. And speaking is really different from writing because speaking, you can just erase the grammar mistake if you have noticed it. You can it. review, and, that's right. <laughs> yeah, you can draft, right? You can revise your work. But speaking, it's really hard to manage grammar mistakes. That's why aside from confidence, we also should be mindful with our speaking. So that mm -hmm. is one of the things that we will try to develop, to, to develop aside from being confident in speaking, our learners from all ages, you're, you're right there, should also be mindful when they're speaking. Uh, remember that um, that idea that when we are speaking, we are also monitoring the things that we're saying? That's right, Mame. Mm -hmm. And I think our learners or our attendees today, um, perhaps they can say that they can communicate, especially when they do their alone practice in front of the mirror, but when they can deliver a speech in front of other people, well, they freeze. And I think that what we need to build here is the confidence. When you have the confidence, it's the key to everything. That is right. And it's really different when you're in front of the mirror and you're in front of different people. So we'll Ooh, try right. to have performances so our learners can be able to harness that confidence, to build that confidence. So when they are in front of other people, they will not, you know, um, uh, 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 eh, 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 when they are speaking. <laughs> That's right. And we will also know the techniques and how to avoid fillers. So these are the things that they really need to wait together with us here in the Itulai Summer Camp tutorial. Um, I think, ma'am, before we proceed to the other parts of our program, we have to address this question by Ma'am Juliet. Is this daily yeah, or is it is a schedule? Well, this is only every Tuesdays for the ESL Public Speaking Summer Camp tutorial, and that's only 30-minute class today. Right, Mame? That is right. So every Tuesday at 10.30 to 11, um, we are here for you to actually um, teach you how to step up your communication and confidence. That's why our title, Tutor Nova, is Pathways. Can you tell us about the creation of this idea that communication is like going through a pathway? It's a pathway because um, we are journeying. We are having a journey here. And also at the same time, I met my May, um, we are having mm -hmm. weekly topics here that is also related to pathway. And at the same time, because this is a six week journey here, so we will be having um, different ways to really step up our communication and confidence here. That's right. And even though it's the first program that we will be having today, it's our it's actually our salvo. We have um admirers and we have supporters here. Thank you, Ma'am Lina Scotto. Um, from the very first time that we shared our program, she's one of those people who really express um their support. We we also have here Sir Abjil Mejino and Ma'am Brenda Valerio. Hello, ma'am. Hi, <laughs> Hello, ma our co-tutors. Yeah, they're here with us today joining us. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. Yes, and again, our program is entitled Pathways, Ways to Step Up Your Communication and Confidence. And it's open to all ages. So once again, to our students for today, kindly share our program so we will be helping other learners who want to step up their game in communication mm -hmm. and expression of themselves. Okay, yeah, teacher? Not um, even the learners, also the working professionals, Mame, because perhaps I think having a great communication skill at work is also very essential to stepping up your career so if they also wanted to help their um, co-work mates or you know just a friend or a colleague that whom has um difficulty expressing herself or himself well, this is the right path 
This is the yes, tutorial that we right. need to attend. <laughs> yes, actually, Mark Platten here expressed that communication is a pathway for the reason that speaking is using various techniques on pronunciation and speaking techniques. And that is right. And these are things that Mark mentioned um, in his comment, like uh, various techniques in pronunciation and techniques, how to speak. We will also include th these things in our session, right, Mam Nova? Right, Mame. I think that Mark Patton has always been a great um, student here in the Itulai Summer Camp and Itulai Tutorials because he's always present in the class. I really appreciate his um, attendance every time we do online tutorials here. So hi, Mark. That Thank you for saying that. Hello, Mark. We are appreciating that you are interacting with us. And because we want interaction for our camp, we will now set our camp expectations. Um, Teacher Nova, when we say summer camp, it's really a sleep um, sleep away program. That means students will be with their teachers. They will be in a place wherein they will be together for a number of That's days right. and they will explore different things, especially extracurricular activities. But because of the situations that we have right now, we cannot really go outside. We are to be inside our homes. We will be having this virtual um Summer, um, camp. summer camp yes thank you for filling in for me so can you please um tell us the camp expectations that we are having for our campers well um our campers our camp expectations first uh, we have our word of the week why do we have to do this because we wanted to develop our vocabulary and i think to be a great speaker you also need to really know these vocabularies as well because you know um as an english speaker there might be times that we think that we already know the vocabularies but we also wanted to help you guys and help you our dear learners and our dear attendees to really have that grasp of those um, important English vocabulary words. So we wanted to help you with that. So that's why we have created our word of the week. And aside from that, Sugar Nova, one cannot be able to express him himself or herself if he or she does not have the right vocabulary. Um, in expression, right. we, don't, we don't want our um, thoughts to be long, but we want our thoughts to be exact. And you cannot make your thoughts to be exact if you don't have mm -hmm. the good vocabulary, right? That's right, Mame. And I think oftentimes we also hear this kind of common um, expression that they always say that, um, I really wanted to express myself, but I can't find to, I can't seem to find the right words. I feel like the word that I wanted to say is only on the tip of my tongue and I can't really say it. So that's why we wanted to help them through our word of the week. So to that develop is right. their vocabulary mm -hmm. skill. Okay. Continue to Nova. And second thing is that we also wanted to have attendance and an exit exam every session through our Google Forms because we appreciate your attendance and we wanted to recognize that. At the same time, we created Google Forms because that will be our um, way to really monitor how, how um, the attendance or we wanted to monitor your attendance in the class. So we also wanted to give you certificates in every every session that we will be having in this Itali summer camp public speaking tutorial. Yes, that's right. And aside from that, Chitter Nova, we have to really assess them at the end of the session so that we will so we will gauge how they learn in every session. And that assessment will also help us how to design the program so it will be really tailor fit for our learners. It's hard because our learners are coming from different places. They have different mm -hmm. abilities, but the but the assessment will really help us somehow to uh to 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 make it really fit generally to our learners. That's right, Mame. And at the same time, our third camp expectation is the assignment. So we will be having assignment to showcase what you can do after learning from each session here in the Itali Summer Camp Public Speaking and ESL tutorial. And the assessment uh, assignment, by the way, is a performance. So aside from um, assessing what they know, we will also have to look on what they can do. So it's an overall holistic um, assessment of their learning, what they know through an assessment, and what they can do by applying what they know um, by having performance assignment. 
That's right, Mame. And our fourth camp ex expectation here is we will have our camp stalwart in charge of the review of the past session. So we will be featuring one of our attendees every session. That is right. Go on, Tutor Nova. And we also have our next expectation, which is we will have our featured campers whose outputs will be featured each session. And we will also be giving away badges, which you need to collect every session. And you also need to deliver a speech performance at the end of a program that will be judged by a respected panel of assessors. At the same time, certificates and prizes await our campers every session. This is exciting. That is right. <laughs> I am really excited about the speech performance because the panel of assessors will be a surprise for our learners. Ooh, who knows, right? We might be <laughs> inviting a celebrity here in our Italy public speaking tutorial. Yes, who knows? But what I guarantee to our learners, the panel of assessors are good in their field. Ooh, that's exciting. Mm -hmm. uh, Erin Miranda has a comment here. We speak English in Tagalog at home, but it is difficult for me to speak or construct sentences po in Tagalog. It is easier in English or Taglish, but I am learning and continue practicing na po para mas ma-express ma ko po what I want to say. What is your thought about that, Tutor Nova? Well, um, I think that um, it, it's a little bit difficult when you want it to be uh, really a master of a certain language when you don't really practice it, right? Um, but I think um, what she says is that she's only having difficulties naman, on her construction of sentences in Tagalog. Well, Ma May and, Ma and Miss Erin, oh, we are on the same page because I'm also having difficult times constructing in Tagalog because I'm Bisaya, by the way. <laughs> Oh. So I am from Cebu. So um, I I am really fluent when it comes to speaking in Bisaya, but somehow I find it really difficult when I construct the Galug sentences because I'm used to speaking in Bisaya every day. So um, however, um, I'd rather choose to speak in English than in Tagalog because I find it hard to really um, find the right Tagalog word for me to um, say. So I think we are on the same page, Erin. Pero Shooter Nova, let us um celebrate also and we have this idea that those Bisaya kung di ba, we, we we have that word Bisaya, they say right. that they are really good in speaking English. They are pronunciation oh. and enunciation are really good. And we can hear that from Tutor Nova, right, campers? Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and um it. from mm -mm. Go on, ma. Well well, yeah, I think it, it's a it's a matter of practice as well, Mame, because um, growing up, I, I really like um, listening to English music. At the same time, I also love binge watching some um, English movies. And I think it helped me a lot to really um, have my love for English language, you know, prosper along the way. And at the same time, I may, I also make ways to really speak in English, although I'm alone, which I do my, um, what we call the using of my phone recording. Um, I, I do speak English at home alone, and I do that because I use my recording um, using my mobile phone. So I really nice wanted to, know. to, yeah, it's 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 a, it's a my way to really mm -hmm. um, conquer my um, English. Um, what do you call this one? My difficulties that that I face as an English speaker. So because I am such a shy person, so I don't want other people to really listen to me <laughs> speaking in English. But then uh, when obvious. I reach <laughs> When I reached high school, Mame, I was so shy. I can't even raise my hand in the class. And I think most of our students here are relating to that because um, if yes. you're such a shy person, you don't want to raise your hand in the class, right? But I think um, you just need to have that teacher who sees the potential in you. And yeah, I think, right. Mame, um, they're very lucky because the two of us can really see such potentials in our students right here with us today in the class, mm -hmm. especially Erin. Erin, if I did it, you can also do it yourself. And that is right. And aside from that, Shooter Nova, we have this effective filter. What is an effective filter? Um, also, your shyness, if it's really a part of your personality, will, will contribute to your um, doubts in speaking the language That's but aside from right. that those people who have a 
uh, different first language and most of us don't have English uh, mm -hmm. as our first language, we know that the first language affects our learning of the second language. Diba? Uh, most of us have English as our second language and sometimes your first language really affect how you learn that your second language and I can understand um, where the shyness, where the doubts are coming from. But um, again, let's go back to Eri practicing is really important and there's we we also have um emphasized here growth mindset in which it's okay to make mistakes have That's fun right. and learning accommodate those um improvements because later on as you are in tune with your improvements you can do better that's right, Mame. And I think, Mame, when you know the grammar, when you know the vocabularies, when you know to pronounce the words, but you are not practicing it and you are not using it, well, perhaps it will not lead you to really be a great speaker in a certain language. What you really need to do is to use it. Use it in a sentence. Use it in how you communicate daily because um, that's the, the good thing about um, mastering something. You have to use it, apply it, and it's, it's, it's important that you know the vocabularies, it's important that you know the grammar, but it's really important, most important that you need to use it. Although you know that you can create mistakes, but it's, it's good, you're good to go if you create mistakes. At least you're aware that you're creating mistakes, but when you use it, it's, it's such a great thing that you are applying what you have learned, right? Right, and we have this um, two sides of language learning. We have accuracy and fluency. And we're kind of veering away from accuracy because accuracy makes you stiff. And learning, um, the, the learning road is full of mistakes. It's full of bumps, yeah. it's full of holes. And we have mm -hmm. to really pass by through these um, holes and um, bumps because we will not really own our experience in language learning if we will not feel the bumps and the holes and the raggedness of the road that means we, if we don't acknowledge the importance of making mistakes if, and if we avoid making mistakes we will not really learn that's right mommy it's uh, it's part of the process right and experience is the best teacher and at the same time um, when you create mistakes it will lead you to such um, great um, what do you call this one process wherein you know what your mistakes are and you have such um, more ways to really uh, make it correct right so that is right mm -hmm. and i think tutor nova we can now proceed to the camp rules because we have to manage our time go on oh, yeah <laughs> wow we're really <laughs> spontaneous with this mommy <laughs> so well our camp rules our dear attendees attendees is that attendance is valued and we appreciate um you giving the time to this itulai public speaking tutorial the session that we have and at the same time you need to collect the badges by attending every session to be a camper champion and interact with the camp counselors using the comment section and keep the comment section relevant to matters of the study just a note tutor nova i said yeah. here that attendance is valued because we really appreciate like what you said the presence of our learners they're from different countries and they're really giving their time for us even if it's just 30 minutes we appreciate that you're really tuning in because there are a lot of programs to watch right there's so many shows right there's so many things today um to, to do but you have chosen to tune in in our program and we really value that we, we we don't say that your attendance is a must we are not imposing it because um right now we, we have different choices but we value your choice we we value and we appreciate that you are sitting with us virtually <laughs> yeah that's right and we would love to recognize their efforts in giving their time despite their busy schedules to attending this itulai public speaking tutorial that's right. And I think many of our um, learners right now are asking if the program is free. What can you say about that, Tutor Nova? It's definitely free. That's right. <laughs> and at the same time, they can enjoy this Itilai public tutorial um, every Tuesdays. It's only a 30-minute class and it's for free. And well, Mame, they will also be having the chance to really be a camper champion and win amazing prizes at the end of our session. 
Mm -hmm, that's right. And I would like to um, to stress that please keep the comment section relevant to matters of study because we are observing some learners are posting things that are not relevant to the program, neither relevant to the things that we are teaching. So we have to respect the space that we are creating here, but by commenting, interacting, interacting with us and by uh, expressing yourselves in the comment section. We cannot really um, look look at the comments one by one. So we are apologizing for that at the very onset of our program, but we will try to give everyone a voice and to give everyone a chance to express himself or her herself. That's right, Mame. Well, um, it's kind of sad because time check is now 11.01 in the morning, now, May. So I think um, we just stop hearing the camp rules. Um, however, yeah. um, what are they going to look forward to in our next Tuesday um, ESL public speaking tutorial here, Mame? I, I think, ma'am, um, before we proceed to that, let us finish everything in the oh, camp okay. rules oh we have our oh we have our next set of camp rules for last sorry for that well our it's next okay. camp rule is that we need to avoid monopolizing the comment section by flooding comments as what ma'am may mentioned earlier at the same time maintain a friendly camping environment by having a growth mindset at the same time respect each camper and help each other thrive enjoy our virtual camping with your camp counselors and that's us <laughs> yes and why did i mention here growth mindset because as uh, like what we said tutor nova we have to really welcome mistakes it's okay and we are a community of learners here though we are your teachers slash camp counselors we are learning from you that's right it's true so for our for our next session, sayang to turnover, we were not able to present sayang. this, but we are so excited that this will be put on to another week because that means we have so much time to discuss it with our learners. We are not um, we are not in a crunch time. We will not hurry a time, uh, hurry our time, but we will give our best to discuss how thoughts should be conveyed to get a message across, and that is entitled. Turnover. That is entitled at a crossroad how thoughts should be conveyed to get a message across. So supposedly this is going to be our week one class offering, Mam May, but um I think um we gave them an overview of what they need to look forward to on the rest of the weeks. And um I think should we have this first session today or should we have this in the next um Tuesday class schedule? As as an element of surprise, we will hold off this session for next week. And again, um, mm -hmm. learners, this session is for free. You can tune with us. You can tune in. And we will not um, ask for any amount of money. We are doing this for the love of teaching. We're doing this for our passion for reaching different learners in every part of the country. So I think, te right. Teacher Nova, we can bid goodbye to our learners for now. Yeah, for now, but um, we would love to see them, the same um, set of people here who are interacting with us in the comment section. And to those who still wanted to interact um, on the next um, class schedule, that will be next Tuesday, um, we wanted to tell you that there are a lot of things that you need to wait for. And at the same time, uh, Mame, we have a lot of surprises. And even today was such a great surprise, right? Because... <laughs> We really planned everything today, but I think it's a surprise that we cannot really have the the main class today because our time is, um, um, what do you call this A one? bit short. Yeah, it's a bit short. <laughs> and I think we should have a petition to have our one hour class. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> yes, but if they feeling that means to Nova that they are really excited to learn more. And we appreciate that. We want to keep the fire and the passion in learning English. So... If we have learners to today, we are expecting more learners. So why not share this um this program? Share it to FB so that we are also helping other learners. We will be a bigger community whose um goal is to learn more in English and to better oneself. That's right, Mame. Well, for the information of everybody, actually, this is the very first time that Mame and I did a collab. <laughs> and at the same time, this is our very first meeting together. And this is such an, an impromptu class. So we also wanted to say that 
in this public tutorial, we will also be teaching you how to really be good at impromptu speaking, right, Mame? Which is that we is always true. do all the time. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. So um, for now, we will be mm -hmm. saying goodbye, but not too long because we will come back next meeting. I am Ma Maria Mayan Sevilla. And I am Nova Dolor B. Pilayo. And this is Pathways. Bye. Bye bye. Thank you so much. Magandang araw! Ako po si Sir Ariel, ang Alts Lover ng EdTech Unit. Narito po ako para sa isang napakagandang balida at upang magpaalala na ang kinabukasan ay mas gaganda at uulad kung ang lahat ay patuloy na mag-aaral. Sa edukasyon sa ating bansa, tiyak na walang maiiwanan sa pag-abot ng mga pangarap. Kaya naman ang Department of Education ICTS Educational Technology Unit at Alternative Learning System Task Force ay nagtutulungan sa pagkakaroon ng ALS Tech Empowerment Program upang maihatid ang excellent quality education sa ating mga ALS learner and teachers. To easily deliver the lessons from the modules and other references, we will provide tablet PC as part of the DepEd computerization program to all ALS teachers and orientation on the use of these packages. To deepen the pedagogical use of information and communications and technology in delivering instructions, there are training workshops on the use and curation of Open Educational Resources or OER, Google and Microsoft Productivity Tools, creation of video lessons using PowerPoint presentations and KineMaster, and on ebook or e-magazine development. To create an avenue for remedial lessons that is open to all learners, teachers, and parents, we will have the Itulai free online tutorial and mobile Itulai where we will visit remote schools to feature the best practices of our ALS teachers and learners. Sa mga out-of-school youth and adult, laging tatandaan na may pag-asa upang makapagpatuloy sa pag-aaral. May ALS para sa inyo. Ang edukasyon ay para sa lahat. Para sa bata, para sa bayan, para sa guro. Sulong Edukalidad!